Well, the thing about voice is that's a lot different than live action because in live action, beside like you work with your voice, obviously, but you also have to rely on your body. With this, you just have to concentrate all your emotion into your voice. And so that can be kind of hard, but it's also really fun. The outside. Well, I, I, I don't know with that. I think that you, you Tim is uh, so creative that when you're in his company. It's a great experience, and um, he's very collaborative. Uh, you're just happy to be working with a real artist. I think just because since it, since it is such a groundbreaking uh, feature film, the fact that it is the first black and white 3D animation, that and he is a person that is very groundbreaking, that I feel that he is the perfect person to do this. Plus, bringing it into this view of things that isn't the stereotypical exact spin-off of, of the Frankenstein films, it's more or less a, a new version of the film. I, mean, I wasn't really like nervous. Like, the first session, obviously, I was like a little bit nervous to meet Tim Burton because he was like uh, my favorite director. And I was like a little, little, and he still is one of my favorite directors. Even before I started acting, I was obs obsessed with Nightmare Before Christmas and Pee Wee's Big Adventure when I was like three. So, yeah. <laughs> I've been told that I have big eyes, <laughs> um, and I. Uh, I, I just related to her a lot because I was pretty shy as a, as a, at that age and other years too. But um, the, the, her her affection for Victor and love for you know I, I felt I sort of based my character a little bit on how much love and affection I have for Tim and and um, I, he's like my favorite person in the world <laughs> and and, um, and but I did also base her a little bit on, on Lydia from Beetlejuice so as a as a you know uh, eight-year-old how I imagined her you know I I haven't seen him for years and years but I saw him two years ago uh, or a year and a half ago at a Martin Mull art opening and he was coming out and he went mommy and I said baby oh. <laughs> and my husband who's usually cool about these things said okay both of you get together I'm getting a picture oh, he got oh, beautiful so... pictures on his phone which oh. I wish I had to show yeah sweet he was living in Paris at the time and he looked lovely and he was doing really well and I was happy to I see him I love it of course you were all at a Martin Mull art opening <laughs> <laughs> What I contribute is disseminating information really quickly, uh, getting to the information really quickly. We need that address. The longer that you go, statistically, the evidence starts to slip away. <laughs>